Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar and listen to what I have for you today. Come on! So I'm going to be breaking down exactly what's happening there with the guitar. Right, we're going to be taking a look at that. I'm going to listen to the tune with you. It's uh, Chris Stapleton's new song, new release from November 2022. I'm a Ram. There aren't even any live, um, you know, recordings of him playing it. So we're only going to be listening to the tune. And but that's good because it's good to just focus on the audio part of things so that you go deep with your ears rather than you know, rely on visuals. So I'm going to be breaking down the riff. We're going to be listening to the entire tune together. I'm going to break down the chord progression. And then we're also going to take a look at what the lead guitar is doing. There's some really cool, some cool little licks in there, some little lead parts. I'm going to be showing you how to solo to it. Um, so just a, you know, well-rounded video is what I'm hoping for. Also, I'm going to have this tabbed out for you, this main little riff. So it'll be easier for you to follow along. And also that, that cool little thing that I just showed you, right? That little line there. Okay. So without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's just groove for a second. You see, all of a sudden, um, when the vocal comes in, they're playing with us a little bit with the timing. You're grooving, you're grooving, you're grooving. Then the drum does this little fill, and all of a sudden, it kind of kicks you a little bit with the timing. Um, it kicks you around a little bit. You have to adjust slightly with the guitar um, to, to deal with that. Let's listen one more time. So we're grooving. Grooving. Did you feel that? They're playing with us with the timing. So you're going to have to take a little break with the guitar, then come back in. Okay. So fun little fact there that, that they do right at the beginning, just to play with us a little bit. So the riff goes like this. We're thinking E7, um, but we're not going to be playing all the notes in that E7. What we're going to be doing is kind of thinking of the shell, the E7 shell, but we're going to only be hit the open sixth string and the open third string. See that? Then the open E. And then this note here, which is a D. Okay, so. And I'm still holding down E7 because it just makes it easier for me to just hold the shape. But um, we're only really playing that. Okay, so. Then it goes into A7, so. And sometimes I will, you know, finger pick it, use my thumb and my first finger just to get those notes. And sometimes I'll kind of just slap down very gently on those four, first four strings. And then use my second and third finger to pick the rest. You could do this with a pick if you want to hybrid pick it, but I find it easier to do just with my hands, okay? so. Then I'm using my right hand to kind of keep that groove going a little bit. Don't ask me exactly how to do that. It's just kind of, you could, you could just do, you could just do that as well. But I'm trying to kind of keep that, that little groovy thing that the second guitar is doing happening. So let's listen one more time. On the left side is the guitar that's playing the, you know. And then on the right side is the second guitar that's just kind of this. Um, very kind of gentle, muted out thing, right? So let's listen one more time. You hear the left side is doing one thing, the right side is doing another thing. Timing. All right, let's keep going. Okay. 
Okay. I'm a rambler. You bet your life I do. I'm around now. I wanna get next to you. Okay, so let's break down what happens after that main little riff. Again, I'm gonna have this tab down for you. Right, so don't worry about that. Get the tab, it's totally free underneath. Then, um, and I'm also gonna have the chord progression. You're gonna get everything, just follow the link. So after that, um, what happens is we go into this A7, and we were playing A7 before. Here, right? But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finger it slightly differently. We're gonna do a different um, fingering of the A7 chord. So now it's this. Right? It's the same notes, just stacked differently, right? Giving us a different characteristic. So we're barring down the first three strings, and then with this finger, we're just getting the, the G in there. See that? And that's giving us a different sound of the A7. Let's go and listen to that one more time. Here. I'm around, baby. You bet your life I do. Okay, and then comes that little lick, okay? So, nice, solid groove. And again, with my right hand, I'm kind of trying to compensate for what the guitar on the right side is doing, right? I'm trying to play kind of both parts at once. But I think what they're doing is the, the first guitar is playing just very clean and hardly doing anything else. And the other guitar is kind of feeling in that funky part there, right? Okay. So that's something you can try to do if you're playing alone. Try to kind of use your right hand to keep that thing grooving along. It doesn't have to be super clean. Don't worry about it. Um, if it's sloppy, um, even if you can't do it right away, keep trying to do it. You'll, you'll get better the more you practice this, okay? Okay, so um, after that, da, da, da. so this is just, this, you know, three times, ba, 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 right? And then comes this cool little lick that goes like this. So um, you can play E minor pentatonic perfectly to play lead to this tune, okay? E minor pentatonic is gonna work beautifully. You're gonna see later on. So um, we're going fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth string. So five, seven, five, okay? And then this cool, uh, then they slide down. So this cool little slide down. And then, sixth string, two times, hammer on the seventh fret, third fret, pull off. So, see that? And then here I'm giving it a little bluesy bend. Hear that? So, sorry. No, it was, it was correct the first time, sorry. So it's... Again, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have it tabbed down. Okay, so ba ba bam, slide down, ba ba da ba da, ba ba bam, slide down, ba ba da ba da. Okay, let's listen one more time. I'm around, baby. You bet your life I do. I'm around now. I'm Here we go. Let's just groove for a second here. E minor pentatonic will work perfectly. This is the register that I find, um, I think they're playing al along in the most. Kind of fifth position and fourth position. Going into third position. And I really like to use my fingers because I can get this nice a nice slappy sound. Right? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, part two. I'm around here. Second guitar, just, just going for that E note and just giving it a nice vibrato. Showing that you don't need to play a lot of notes, you know, just really hitting one note and meaning it, right? And giving it a nice vibrato, slapping it, and then giving it a nice vibrato. You know, the notes that you play, it doesn't have to be a lot of notes, but when you play that note, make it mean something, right? And that's really something that they're doing here, you know, beautifully. You know, it's, it's not a lot of notes, but the ones... The, one they, the ones they play really, they're playing with intention. Let's listen. That fourth position kind of pentatonic. Right, so bending up. So the box is here. Right, and we're bending up. Nice bluesy sound. Let's listen again. They're back. All right, here it comes. It was further back, but let's keep listening. Oh, there it was. So, let's keep going. Simple stuff. Part two. Sweet pentatonic licks. I think he did that. So again, we're we're in that kind of middle register. We're not too low. We're not too high. It's just kind of sweet where you can slap the notes and spank them. Right. So he's fourth position again. So. with intention again. Right? See that? takeaways from this um, are basically really cool sweet groove it doesn't have to be complex the whole tune is basically just this this thing that's gonna make you feel good and groove the entire time and then simple little pentatonic licks played with feeling played with you know 
intention. It's gonna just it's gonna it's gonna make it sound great and just um, you know ballsy. You know it's gonna sound ballsy. So what you want to do is try to play ballsy. Use your fingers. You know get a little distortion on your amp and um, try to groove along to this tune. Try to come up with your own little pentatonic riffs. Try to also play along and you know like I was doing by ear. You know I, now that you know where the notes are. Try to copy what you hear the, the lead guitar doing, right? It's not that fast, and it's a great way to train your ears and to, you know, kind of just get into some lead guitar that's not hard to play technically. It's hard to play it in terms of playing it with feeling. I messed up there, but... Try to really get the most juice you can out of those notes. It's not always easy technically with your fingers either. I normally don't play lead with my fingers, but this is something that's going to really get you going. All right. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. There's more videos just like this one right here. Here's the one that YouTube thinks you should watch. Click on that and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to click. All right. Click. See you later. Have a great day. Henry Olsen here. Bye bye.